Good afternoon, American Air Club members. Uh, live directly from uh, from the club, uh, Destroy Cappuccino, as I'm known around the club, and here live with El Sheffy. Sheffy, what's going on this weekend? Um, well, we got a lot going on. We have this Sunday coming up. We're gonna do a sushi Sunday with some dumplings and some noodles and like like an Asian theme for this weekend. Nice, nice, nice. This action station or right coming action. right from the kitchen. Action station. What's the thing? Nice, nice. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Then also obviously tonight, um, it's gonna be actually part two for the uh, every Friday night for the wine tasting that we're doing right here, right behind us. Um, it's all complimentary wines. It's it's three different cabernets this evening. So if you're uh, if you happen to be in the area and you want to stop by, please do so. We we had beautiful and great reviews last week. Mm -hmm. I know last week we did Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, but it was a huge, huge success. Um, so any means, if you're in the area, please please uh, please come by. Um, we also like to know that for the October 23rd Friday virtual wine tasting, we do have a few spots available for that. So uh, if you are interested, please. Uh, Please let me know. You can email me, call me, whatever it's easier for you. And then the great news that we have to offer is that Michelin Star Chef Night is officially sold out. Chefy, want to give us a quick old just I not, don't too, give, not too many details, I, but anything that you can. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, okay. but it's going to be. I, it, it's going to be super creative. It's going to be super out of the ordinary. It's going to, at least, at least I believe it's going to make the members who are able to get in think it's going to be an experience Absolutely, that yeah. that they're not accustomed to. A right. here, you know, whole, I, you know, people have those type of experiences, you know, outside the club, but to be able to do that here and. We're going to incorporate a lot of things that um, they know here at the club and it's going to be expressed through the food so Got there's it. a couple of courses that i'm sure they'll immediately understand and you know correlate the club to the experience of the course but beautiful it's, it's, beautiful it's going, to be, I mean, I, it's going to be a good time i absolutely agree again and not to get anything out but i kind of i kind of looked at the menus and some of the stuff some of your ideas it's, it's pretty uh Pretty insane, I would say. So I can't. It's, it's not even it's, just the food; it's the way it's presented. Right, it's, of it's, it's interaction. It, All know, the some of the courses are even interactive. You know, with right. each other, the people that are be dining at the table, even along with the the staff that's going to be serving. So it's it's going to be an experience, not Beautiful. just uh, dining at the club. Beautiful. Beautiful, no, it's awesome. amazing. Also, October 16th, we have Hocus Pocus, the movie night at the beach. Mm. Again, I know last night we had one of the, the movies out and uh, Mrs. Flory was in charge of it and uh, God bless the ladies. It was had pretty, a great turnout. It was cold out there, but yeah. they had an amazing yeah. time. They loved it. And then October. Uh, and then that weekend is all about the kids, right? Right, you that's know, it, the, the 18th, the pumpkin at pumpkin. the Gibbons Point. Uh, they yep. do the contest. Yeah, they will have a, send out a whole bunch of different snacks, and nice. they can decorate their pumpkins. And then there's going to be a uh, haunted house. Right? Yes, yes, we Which are, we are, we are doing the uh, the haunted house. That's like that's Sunday, October twenty fifth. Yeah, and uh, I know uh, Pancho is all over that. He's gonna design and create it, so <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. But uh, it's it's gonna be fun. Uh, so again, um, just again a friendly reminder: we are serving lunch and dinner at the club currently because we are pretty much into off season um, Thursday through Sunday lunch and dinner a um, couple of things I like to just just uh, as a reminder and we have a few of our members that come in and sometimes they come in and they want something that we might not have on the menu and then many many times pretty much all the time our chef here he'll pretty much accommodate anything that anybody wants as long as it's on, on property it makes it happen but if you do want to come and join us for lunch or dinner and you want something sp specific or something special that maybe you had a month or two months ago or a year ago if you give us enough notice i'm sure that we can we can certainly make it happen without even a question and even so. if it's something that's not even on the menu at the moment and the members just gave us a day or two in advance that you know they wanted a, a specific protein that's not on the menu or that they haven't seen on the menu we can surely get it in right. with enough notice so that you know the membership or the member and their guests that they're bringing can all you know have a, a, a beautiful dining experience in here yep. you know 
we have certain things that just a lot of the membership want to see all the time, you know. Right. And if you take all that away, things, yeah. you know, it, we, you know, we don't want to disrupt them either. But we can surely get something in for someone that has a different palette than mm -hmm. you know the average, you know, not the average, but the the, the mass of, of the membership that they're looking for on you know menu items. We could surely get it in at any given point. Absolutely. We never say no. Absolutely. And then obviously we did do the past uh, couple Thursdays the uh, Thursday pub night menu. Yeah. Which which is very very popular. So if you're uh, if you're in the area, you want to stop by for a quick beer, quick burger, nachos, buffalo wings, other things. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty much ready to go. So um, what else is going on, Chefy? Oh, so one of the questions that we did get from 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 the members is from for the Chefy. So one of the things, what if you just just a few seconds, like what are the vegetables ingredients that are pretty much in season right now? So if, if I were to throw a small party at my house for 10 people, what should I be thinking about doing? Right now, it's, you know, coming into, well, well right now is squash, you know, squash. delicata okay. squashes, your butternut squashes, right. your okay. kombucho squashes. So squash is, you know, is the harvest of what's happening right now. Um, it, in, in regards to, uh, you know, like the more hearty leafy greens, like the kales, the baby kale, different species of kales that, that, that are, you know, coming into season. Um, and it, it all depends on, you know, what type of dinner party there is, but like the cauliflowers are coming in, you know, nice. which, which is, has picked up a ton of steam over the past, I don't know, five or six years, you know, especially for like the vegans, you know, you could, you right, know, right. take the cauliflower and almost make it the center of the plate nowadays, you know, with all, you know, different variations of setting up and how you're cutting it, how you're steaming it or roasting it for that matter. It's almost like become the center of the plate. So like the, the cauliflowers that are coming into season, you know, this, you know, that's where, you know, I would be focusing, um, you know, if, if they're asking just for vegetables, right. you know, those are the, those are the types of products that you're going to, you know, Got see, you know, come into play in the next couple of weeks into the fall. Got it. And then uh, another question is like, what are some of the grocery stores that you like to shop for you and your family and the, and, and the boys when you guys are? Well, you know, I happen to things. live around the block from a Whole Foods by my house on Long Island. Um, so, and I also have a fairway, which is just the next town over. So I'm kind of spoiled in regards to, you know, the markets. And there are a couple of very small boutique-ish style markets that I do have by my house. But that's where I go. I'm. Um, my wife's a little intimidated by going into the you know the boutique type because she doesn't know all the products and stuff like that. So she's more of the, the Whole Foods type person. Right, right. So when I you know when we are shopping for myself or for my family and the kids, and we go to the smaller boutique style on Long Island, I usually get what we go. Got it. Got it. Okay. So still a chef at the house too. Well, that's pretty much uh, what we have for this uh, for this for this video. Is unless there's anything else uh, well, that you have, Chef. Up, and, uh, right? We don't want to take too much time, but uh, we're gonna get ready and uh, go in the kitchen and destroy some cappuccinos. Let's destroy. And destroy. <laughs> As always, thank you very much, well. American thank you. Bob.